So for uh, we know that the centripetal force on the passenger would be equal to mv squared over r. Uh, given this for part a, when we want to find the change in the centripetal force with respect to the radius, we can say that this is going to be equal to negative mv squared over r squared. So we can say df equals negative mv squared over r squared times dr. Uh, if we wanted to say for part b, the derivative of the force with respect to v, we can say that this is going to be equal to 2mv over r, where of course df would then equal 2mv over r times dr. Rather, my apologies, dv. Uh, given this, for part C, we can say that the period of a circular ride is simply equal to the circumference 2 pi r divided by the velocity at which it, at which it uh, rotates. So we can say that f will be equal to mv squared over r. Uh, this would be equal to m over r. For Solving for v, this is going to be equal to 2 pi r over the period. So we can say this would be 2 pi r over the period, quantity squared. Uh, this is equaling 4 pi squared times m r divided by t. And then we're going to solve for the force of the change in the force with respect to t, the period. So this would be equal to negative 8 pi squared m r over t cubed. Now, again, this would simply be df equals negative 8 pi squared times mr divided by t cubed times dt. Now, here we can say then that df would be equal to negative 8 pi squared times mr multiplied by v over 2 pi r, substituting in for the for 1 over the period, quantity cubed times dt, and then we can say df would be equal to negative mv cubed over pi r squared multiplied by dt. This would be our final answer for part c. The change in the force with respect to the period in terms of the velocity. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.